Let's look at this problem. We have this 20 kilogram uniform thin hollow square plate pinned at 0, and it's subjected to a constant couple moment, 80 Newton meter. It is released from rest from this position, and then it has rotated 45 degree um, counterclockwise and we need to determine at that moment what the angular velocity is. And we must use work and energy to solve this problem. So uh, as you can tell, this problem is similar to some of the previous problems. And we have determined from one of the previous example that Ig, which is the mass moment of inertia of this thin plate about its own gravitational center equals to uh, two over three, which is about 0 0.667 in the unit of kilogram meter squared. So that's useful in this problem, and we do not need to determine it again. So this is an inertial state, so state one. Now let's draw a sketch of state two, the final state. So at state two, this um, plate has rotated counterclockwise by 45 degree, therefore it has moved to this position kind of like horizontal position. It is still pinned here at 0. 0.0. So this is state two. According to the principle of work and energy, the total initial um, kinetic energy plus total external work down to the system during this process from state one to state two equals to total final kinetic energy. So in this case, because the plate is released from rest, therefore, this is a zero. Initial kinetic energy is a zero. So what about the total work down to this um, uh, plate? During this process from one to two, uh, there's the gravitational force, the weight that did work, and this 80 Newton meter uh, couple moment has done work as well. So in terms of the work done by the weight force of the plate, um, initially, this is the location of a gravitational center. This distance right here is 0 0.4 divided by square root of 2 meter, which equals to 0 0.282 meter. And this is the final distance or location of the gravitational center. And this distance right here is 0 0.2 meter. Therefore, the weight force and the displacement is downwards. Therefore, the weight is doing positive work. Therefore, we have 20 times 9.81. That is the weight force. And multiply by the displacement 0 0.282 minus 0 0.2. The couple moment is also doing work and the work is calculated by m theta. Theta is the angular displacement. Um, it has rotated by 45 degree. Uh, therefore, that is an angular displacement of quarter pi in radian. So that equals to 80 times quarter pi. So this is evaluated to 78.9 joule. That is the total work down to the system during this process, but because we have initial kinetic energy of zero, therefore final kinetic energy also equals to 78.9 joule. But at the same time, the final kinetic energy equals to um, one half mvg squared plus one half ig omega squared. In this case, this is the general equation. In this case, because we have motion that is um, rotation about a fixed axis, this formula, this equation can be rewritten into simply one half IO omega square. IO is the mass moment of inertia with respect to the rotation center, which is 0. 0.0. And that can be determined by parallel axis theorem that equals to IG times plus MRG square omega square. So this equals to one half. Ig equals to two over three, which is, we determined that before in the previous problem. Mass is 20 kilogram. Rg is the, this right here, 
the distance from the gravitational center to the rotation center, and we just said that that equals to 0 0.4 over square root of 2 squared. So this part right here is IO times omega squared, and omega is our unknown. Therefore, on the left-hand side, T2 equals to 78.9 joule. On the right-hand side, we have um, 1 half times IO is evaluated to be 2.256 omega squared. So one equation, one unknown. From here, we can solve for omega to be 8.36 radian per second.